It's a nice bright sunny day. You want to sit on your computer, grab your controller, connect it to your PC, open up Red Dead Redemption 2, and play it. But it isn't working. How do you solve that? Great question. You came to the right video. joining me today guys uh, it's a quick tutorial on how you can get your controller to be working on your pc specifically red dead redemption 2 for pc in future episodes if you guys would like to know about other games and definitely we can do that now i'm specifically using a playstation 5 controller as i have shown over here but it will also work with the playstation 4 controllers and uh, xbox controllers work by default so uh, there is nothing to worry about in that case there are two parts to this video i'll just be very clear about it first part is getting the controller connected and, and just working in general the second part includes a mod if you guys are okay with that the mod essentially what it does is it replaces the xbox controls and it replaces them with the, the PlayStation control. So two ways to connect your controller to the PC. Very, very simple methods. The first one is the easiest one, which is grab a, a cable, a USB-C cable to a USB 3.0 or just a normal USB 2, maybe that works as well. Obviously what you can do is use the, the wire that was given to you with the PlayStation 5. That works perfectly fine. All you gotta do is see the USB port on your controller. Just just connect it and just, just, just put it in, just, just, you, you get the point. All right, once you connect your controller to the PC, you will see that your controller has a nice uh, blue light with a uh, just one, one light, light sh shining up over here. This means that it works. Now, this means that the, the controller is being recognized and Steam recognizes it. Uh, so obviously, if you're playing Red Dead Redemption through Steam, then you would have to launch Red Dead Redemption through Steam. Uh, and uh, if you're doing it through Epic Games, same process, it doesn't matter. As long as you connected your PlayStation 5 controller, it should work. Now, under the case that it doesn't get recognized, you would have to go and download the Xbox 360 controller su uh, support, which the link is in the description. You can go ahead and download that. Uh, once you've done that, it's just a driver that you have to install. It, it practically works. Um, that's pretty much it. So once you're done with the controller connecting part, it should be, you're, you're like more than halfway there already. All right, guys, once you've connected your controller to the PC, you would see that there is a bit of a light coming out of here. This is a blue color light that shows up and also a, uh, a little bit of a white color, just one light showing up over here. This means it's connected and it works. Um, if you were using some app like DS4 Windows or DualSense X, then you would actually be able to use the touchpad as a, uh, as, as, a, as a trackpad, but we're not doing that method right now because Red Dead Redemption 2 is, is partially supported by Steam, which I will explain a bit more now. So once you have your controller ready, you can go over to Steam, which is what you would play Red Dead Redemption on, uh, considering you have it over here. Then you would go over to uh, View, and you want to enter Big Picture Mode. Now, you want to get into Big Picture Mode in order to, to configure your, your controller. Now, I'm already here right now, and I'm just going to go ahead and use the controller to show you that works. Left, right, left, right. It, it, wor it works. It, it's recognized. But under the case that your controller is not recognized, then in that case, what you're going to do is use your keyboard and mouse. Go over to settings, which is the icon right here. Then you want to go over to controller settings and then click on PlayStation configuration support. Uh, now, this is quite important because some games that other than Red Dead Redemption do have full PlayStation controller support. So if you were to click on this, then you would actually show you would get the symbols showing up. If you didn't do this, then you would have the Xbox symbol show up, which is what happens in Red Dead Redemption 2, because uh, that game does not support PlayStation uh, symbols on PC, which is the entire point of this video. So if the controller works, then you will actually see down here, it said detected controllers and you will see PlayStation 5 controller DualSense. This just means it's detected. And if you click on identify, you can actually feel a little bit of vibration going on over here, which means it works. You can go also go ahead and calibrate and just check that your joysticks are working. The left works, the right works. We're good to go. So we can click on OK and we're pretty much ready for games such as Red Dead Redemption 2. You can see that the symbol over here, the PlayStation, the, 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 the controller symbol over here is half, which means it's only partially supported, meaning it's only supported for Xbox controllers and uh, Steam controllers. I, I think Steam, but it's mostly Xbox because that's how they, uh, you know, PCs, mainly Microsoft, you know, Xbox, Microsoft, they have that partiality going over there. But but yeah, pretty much that's how it is. Warframe is obviously a game that's fully controller supported. So is Cyberpunk, but for some reason, no, no, Cyberpunk isn't, and that's another video we might make. But anyways, you can go ahead and play these games if you have... Uh, if, if you see this symbol on there, you can go ahead and just start playing and it will work. Actually, Red Dead Redemption 2 will work as well, 
but if you're a little bit like me and you're a bit nitpicky and you're not really familiar with the Xbox symbols, then you might wanna do the next step, which is the mod that I talked about. Now this mod, let me just tell you, has nothing to do with the gameplay, so it wouldn't affect the game. It's not like cheating, it's nothing like that. Um, if you wanna have an authentic experience on story mode and online, it's completely useful and you can use it. There's, there's, there's a disclaimer right here. There's no, no issues for you. But at the same time, go ahead and do your own checking on the website that I'll send you. Just go ahead and read what the mod is about and uh, just, just make sure you're okay with installing it before you go ahead and, and do it. All right, guys, so here we are in the mod installation part. Now, again, like I said, you don't have to do this, but if you want to get the PlayStation symbols, then you would have to. There's no other way, unfortunately. Now, before you start this, I would recommend you to get your antivirus off because generally there are DLL files that we're working with here and they the, the antivirus might might get confused with uh, with a virus and it might just you know, prevent it from working. The first thing you wanna do is go ahead to this website. I have the link in the description below. You wanna go ahead and download Lenny's Mod Loader. You can just download the file and it will be uh, in a zip format. It will take a bit, you know, this is it. So just download the main file. Uh, no need to download the old, old, old version. Just download will start and it will go ahead and it will show up in your download section over here. I've already have it obviously, so it just shows up as number one. Uh, secondly is script hook. Script hook is very important for this to work. Um, it's pretty much like the ASI loader and it's a native trainer, so you're gonna have to need that. Just go ahead and click on download, not for developers, just the normal one. And uh, once that's done, that's it. Just Just wait, just wait out. The second thing you guys would want to know is where your game is, is downloaded. Now for me, since I have a lot of different storages, I have it downloaded in a separate place, but in case you don't know where it is, you can go ahead to Steam. You can choose the game you want, Red Dead Redemption 2. Right click on it, go to Properties, and then you can go to Local Files, and you can go to Browse, and it would bring you to the place where it is right here. So uh, pretty much what you want to do here is very simple. You want to have this thing just open out here, just just this place. Don't have to go anywhere else. You want to go over to your downloads uh, and have this shown up here. L L M L M L R D R beta. This is fine. All you're gonna do is you're gonna extract this folder. What you're gonna do is very simple. You're gonna open up this folder. Yeah, you're gonna open up the mod loader. You're gonna copy all of this and paste it inside here. Oh, by the way, just to mention, you don't have to have it con the controller plugged in the entire time. You can if you want to, but it doesn't make a difference. Anyways, so once you're done with that, you can see that there's nothing inside the LML folder now. What you're gonna do is once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and choose the mod manager file, the folder mod manager. You're gonna go ahead and put it over here. That's all you're gonna do, it's very simple. Once that's done, you guys are pretty much good to go. The second part is getting the script hook. The script hook is uh, just just up here over here. You guys can see the script hook. Go go to downloads, uh, open that up again, uh, and here we are. You're gonna have to go ahead and extract this as well, um, just cause you know, just extract everything you see. Uh, it's a bin folder, so what we're gonna do is quite simple. Just get the bin folder, and again, just place it inside this main area. This it's not that hard. You see a bin folder here. It all it does it it just replaces that. And if it says replace all, go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah, that's it. You're pretty much good to go. You're done. What you're gonna do now is in this LML folder, you'll see this mod manager over here. You're gonna go ahead and click on that and click on this mod manager UI. Now you can run it as an administrator, but it doesn't really matter. You can run it as normal. Uh, once you're done with that, you can see that it works. It says, welcome to Lenny's mod loader beta. And that's it. Uh, if you go over here, these are all the mods. These, these are the mods I currently have. This is the mod over here that you're gonna wanna install in a bit. For now, I'll have it disabled so you guys can see the uh, the, the full experience. But this is also where, uh, like it's, it's just a bit of an, it's just like a manager over here so you can, it can help install whatever you wanna install. So let's go over to uh, where we can get our PlayStation icons replacement. This website over here, link is also in the description below. It works both for the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5 as we can see over here. So let's go ahead and download, but this time we're gonna download through LML. So we're gonna click download with LML and uh, depends on, depending on which one you want, PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4, you can click on either of those. Uh, I think I did both, but I think for now we will just do PlayStation 5 and click. once you click on install, it should just immediately download with this. It will just go here and it would, you would see the option in this download area. See new download fetching details, uh, I'll have always. This is my Norton antivirus I was talking about. Over here, it's fetching the details. It's going to download it. It's downloading PlayStation icons replacement, and it's done. Once that's done, you can go over to your 
uh, your options here and you can see that I have placed PS buttons here. I also have them here, but uh, it's, you know, you can just turn one off because having both of them, actually you can have both of them on and wouldn't do anything. You're pretty much good to go. You're done. You guys are ready. Uh, you don't have to have this open, but I recommend you having it open the first time you launch the game. So let's go ahead and launch the game first. We can go ahead and click on play. Uh, I'm also using another mod which skips the entire uh, menu, which which asks you about do you want to play the story mode or the or the, or the online mode. Since I'm just focused on story, it goes directly to story. We can go ahead and, and work on those later on in a separate video if you want to know how to modify the game. Um, you, it's pretty, quite straight, quite straightforward. You can just download mods and it goes directly into the folder. It's not that complicated. But now we're just gonna have to sit down and wait for the game to open. It takes some time, especially the first time you open the game. It's gonna take some time. Uh, there's going to be a lot of mods installing, a lot of the files are going to be generating, so it will take a bit of time, you just have to be a bit patient. Obviously, have your controller connected, but at the same time, you don't have to have it con connected, you can have it connected after the game starts. Both ways work out fine. Now, we just sit and wait. Ladies and gentlemen, um, <clears throat> since we last left off, I haven't done anything. Uh, my controller is in my hands right here. Let me just get it for you guys. As you can see, it's green in color. Um, I actually don't even know why that is, but I'm not complaining. So if you move around, it should work. Uh, as you can see, I'm moving around, everything is working as normal. And uh, <clears throat> the main thing you should see is once, if to obviously to check if the mod's loaded, you should know already in the beginning whether you're having um, the X, O, and all in the bottom right, you should be able to see. Uh, photo mode is apparently the, 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 the touchpad. The touchpad doesn't work because it's not integrated that way into the game. It's only the symbols that are changed. Uh, the touchpad is just this button over here. That's what it would be. It's acting as the touchpad. So you can see it changes the, the mode. But it works as normal. Triangle to to get on the horse. Just get on the horse. And uh, hold L1 for the R weapons and R1 for all the items. It, it works as normal as anything else. It works perfectly fine. Uh, and so this is how you do it, guys. This is how you get the... <clears throat> the game to essentially work with a PlayStation 5 controller with all the the, the mods and and whatnot. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, any troubleshooting uh, worries, you can contact me uh, just below this video. Or if you want a bit more personal one-on-one, uh, -on -one, you can contact me on Reddit. Just DM me on there. Uh, link will be in the description and I will surely be able to help you out. Anyways, that's pretty much it for today's uh, video, for today's tutorial. Hope that was hope that was that was useful. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.